guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be talking about another institution that will be a good option for international students i am irene tesco your student life coach for your success here in canada do you want a scholarship of five thousand dollars and a low tuition housing fee if yes, then continue watching because I'll be discussing the advantage, disadvantages, programs, and admissions of this college. Our institution for today is a Coast Mountain College located in British Columbia. It is a public institution that do offer post-graduation work permit for international students. And with that, let's go directly to the advantages of studying at Coast Mountain College. First off, you got a lot of options with regards to locations because Coast Mountain College have five campuses and that includes the Terrace, Smithers, Prince Rupert, Hazelton, and Haida Gawai. Other advantages, they have an affordable housing fee both off campus and on campus. Accommodation ranges around $500 to $600, but of course, it will get higher if you wanted to have a bigger place and a private ones. Next advantage is this college have a lot of awards, bursaries, and scholarships. There are around 76 general awards of the Coast Mountain which ranges up to $2,000. They also have emergency assistance for a grocery or just an emergency of a student. They have over 150 external awards which would grant up to $5,000. And of course, one of the best is they have new entrance awards for international students. So there will be picking 12 international students from different countries and will be giving $5,000. This student is for those who will apply in fall 2022 and there's a deadline for the application. So if you are looking for a college now for fall 2022, this may be one of a good institution to consider. And don't forget to review the eligibility for this scholarship and I have put the link in the description box below. Another good advantage is that they have different services for international students as well as the domestic ones. And that includes free tutoring, advising, and so much more. Now let's move on to the programs that Coast Mountain College is offering. They have over 30 programs eligible for post-graduation work permit that they offer for international students and this is in different departments. And the department includes the arts, sciences, health and social services, trades, and business management. If you are not sure of which program is suitable for you, you can comment it down below, follow me on my Facebook page, or you can just email me at info at unistudyca.com and I will be glad to help you. Now, we will be talking about the disadvantages of going into Coast Mountain College. Of course, we wanted to be fair with every college, so I will be discussing both the goods and the bad perks of going into a specific college. Compared to bigger universities like in Toronto and Vancouver, the Coast Mountain College is kind of smaller ones, meaning there would be no much student that you would engage with, but it's still, it's a good place. Another thing is, since it's located in the northern part of Canada, then the weather is extremely cold, which would cause either on your mental health or you just don't want to have fun those kind of things so it's good to make sure that you have a strong support system are you now considering coast mountain college because if yes we will be discussing now the admission process for this institution first you need to keep in mind that every program is different and every program do require specific pre-requirements these pre-requirements are usually the math calculus statistics algebra or english and this will show either on your high school on your bachelor's degree transcript. Now, you don't need to worry because if in case you didn't admit this and you really wanted that program, the college also have an upgrading options for you. So make sure you check the websites of what are the prerequisites so that you're not wasting your time in waiting for their reply. Question with regards to admission is when should you apply? 
most colleges, including the Coast Mountain College, do open their application 12 months before the start of the program, meaning you can apply as early as September 2022 for the September 2023 intake. And don't forget your IELTS test. They do accept other English tests, not just the IELTS, but also Duolingo and other stuff. They also do provide a no IELTS for some countries, but would require a medium of English. These countries with no IELTS are over 33 countries, and that includes the Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria, Philippines, and so much more that you would like to check out. Upon submission of your application, you also need to pay a $100 fee non-refundable. If you don't know where to start with admissions, you can also message me or ask me some questions on how or what requirements you should provide. Once the college have received your payment, you will be given a conditional acceptance in which you should pay a $7,000 if you're going for a regular stream and $13,000 if you're going for SDS. Also, you may want to know about the refund policy. If you have deposited $7,000, the $4,000 there is the non-refundable unless your visa is denied. So unless there is a proof that you can show to them that you really can't continue studying with them. And if you want to do DIY or if you want to do agency, it doesn't matter as long as you're confident. But if you wanted to do DIY, you may want to connect with me and I can probably help you with regards to admission or choosing your program or just choosing your institution. And again, thank you for today, and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!